In this video, we will create a new S3 bucket so that we can upload and store images in it. And to start creating S3 bucket, you will need to have Amazon account. So if you do not have Amazon account, please go ahead and register for one. And once you do have an Amazon account, open your browser, um, open URL in your browser, which is aws.amazon.com that will open Amazon Web Services um, main page and in the top right corner you should have a button similar to this one sign in to, uh, to the console so when you click on this button it will sign you in and you will land on Amazon Web Services dashboard here we will need to look for S3 which is a scalable storage in Amazon Cloud Click on this S3 link and it will take you to the place uh, which is very similar to file manager. You will have a list of your buckets. If you have any, if you don't have, it will be empty. And to create a new bucket, uh, we will need to click on this blue button, create a bucket. I will work with my bucket I have already created learn swift so if i click on it it will list down some files that i have already uploaded into it so let me delete this file so that my bucket is also empty so i'm selecting these files then i click on action button and then i delete delete these files so the bucket is empty now i click on the uh, root folder all buckets and i have a few buckets created so click on create bucket and then give bucket a name. Uh, remember that Amazon bucket is the uh, Amazon bucket name is unique, and it it is unique globally. So if you create a bucket and then um, if you provide bucket name and then click on create, and that bucket um, could not be created because that name is taken, just uh, give it uh, another name. So in my case, I typed um, Learn Swift learn swift and then i've selected a region depending on where your target audience is the audience which will be connecting to that s3 bucket and using it so if your target audience is mainly in for example tokyo then maybe you want to create um uh you select that region i will choose um uh, us standard and simply click on create bucket again i've already created learn swift bucket i have it I'll go ahead and click create to create a new bucket once you created that bucket it will be empty uh, so click on on the right side you have three tabs non properties and transfer click on properties we will need to set some permissions on this bucket so because um, this bucket is now accessible to you only and no one can upload images to it or do anything with it so uh, click on permissions it will expand the panel and we're looking for this button edit bucket policy click on this button edit bucket policy again i already have some policies so i've deleted i, I will delete it um your your policy editor will be empty and then i'll go to my swift developer block code example section i'll scroll down uh, to my code example click on i clicked on uh, image upload example under amazon aws section and here i have a ready to use amazon bucket policy so I'll click on this button copy the json structure close it and then go back to my uh, s3 uh, bucket editor and paste it here so basically what this is is the json um, uh, structure which uh, applies some policy to your bucket basically we say we're adding permission to allow any user to get objects from this bucket and uh, the resource is uh, your bucket um, here we need to make a little change if you look at the resource uh, name it it reads a r n a w s s3 and then the name of the bucket so i will have to you will have to delete this learn swift which is a name of my bucket and type in the name of your bucket 
so make sure the name of the bucket you type here is correct and once you do that click on save and that will apply policy to this bucket and it will make files that are uploaded into this bucket um, readable by your application for example or um, users will be able users that have this url will be able to open uh, that image uh, from browser window for example so uh, i do have application ready so let me quickly run this application and this code will upload image from my local computer uh, i mean from uh, an application to a learn swift bucket so i will run this application and build it successful i should see some uh, output in my console so the image is uploaded and here's the url to that image i'll go back to my s3 uh, learn swift bucket and i will ref refresh the window okay the image is uploaded its name is cat photo i will select this image and then i can click on properties to preview some of its properties so the image url is here i can select it and because of the bucket uh, policies i can copy and uh, try and open this uh, image url and browser window and it will open and um, this is why it also opens in my application because this url this image is now available on this public url and this is it for creating buckets so by buckets basically are kind of folders but their names are unique globally so once you reserve bucket name it will be uh, yours and then you can upload files and it can be images or it can be videos um, and different types of those files and set permissions on those files so for example i can select this um, image and then i can apply um, add more permissions for a specific user uh, that i have or for everyone so i'll delete this so bucket is created image is uploaded well, let's continue